One of the most important steps in rope production is splicing. Let's begin. On both splice ends, mark the center of the splice, and the end of the splice. Attach splicing needle to one rope end, and pierce it in the rope, at the center mark of splice. Push the needle to the end mark of the splice, and pull it out. Pull the rope through, until both center marks match. Attach the needle to the other rope end. At the next braid hole, pierce the needle through the rope, and pull tight. Insert needle in the rope, at the next braid hole. Push it through the splice end mark. Then pull out the rope end, and take out the needle. Start pulling the splice tight from the center, towards the ends of the splice. Pull out the rope end, and unravel the braid. Shorten the rope ends by approximately 10 centimeters. Taper the rope gradually by releasing and cutting six strands. Pull the splice tight from the center towards the ends and check if the transition from rope to splice is smooth, with gradual taper at the each end. Follow the same operation on the opposite end of the rope, and release around 6 strands.
Taper the rope in fibers gradually. Pull the splice tight from the center towards the ends, and check if the transition from rope to splice is smooth, with gradual taper at the each end. Remember, the splice is the most important part of paper carrier rope's performance.